Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a new add-ins in SolidWorks, which is, I would say, kind of good for uh, tracing the uh, picture or some pattern in an image that has relatively high contrast. So let's say you want to uh, basically retrace some picture that is uh, already available right and uh that picture that object whatever it is has a good contrast with respect to the background of the picture and um, you want to see if there is any automatic way to do it the answer is yes in solidworks if you go to tool and then here you go to add ends uh, if you go down here under solidworks add solidworks add ends there is this guy called auto trace and you need to make sure this guy is checked Okay, so if this guy is active, now if I go on any sketch plane and then I bring a picture, right? So I go to sketch tools here and then go to sketch pictures. Let's say, for example, bring this Toyota logo and uh, you put it on the background. It allows you to uh, do an automatic trace of the sketch. Okay, so now the picture is added and you can resize it or anything you can relocate it now if you look here up here it gives you an extra option it says next normally when you bring a picture there is no next but now there is a next option so now you say next and now it shows you the picture uh, the logo here of toyota against its background and uh, you can uh, modify the image can add more brightness to the picture or remove brightness right and you can change the contrast of the image although SOLIDWORKS is not really the best at processing images but it allows you to add a little bit more contrast and, and so on and so forth and now um, here you can select which part of this image basically you want to be auto traced so if you don't want that whole thing you can just choose a, a part of it instead of the whole thing right and uh, let's say I want this region do the auto trace only in that region for example and then it says okay begin the trace so you say okay now let's do the trace and now if you look all it really did was basically it added this curve on the outside of it so one of the things that is important is if your feature, uh, the shape that you bring in has internal things like this, it's not going to basically uh, do that for you, as you can see here. And uh, here, if I say use to select color and I change this guy, this area, and I say begin trace again, now I can get it to what? Give me the curve that is separating that color from the rest. So if you simply say, I want that rectangular region, it, you saw it gave me this outer part of the sketch. While if I choose the color and use that color to do the tracing, it gave me more curves, okay? So now here, I got this. Now, is that really a good curve? You see clearly that some part of it were not that beautiful, right? So if I uh, go back to this sketch, right? You clearly see some part of it. Some of these SP lines are not that good, right? You clearly see here. And the thing is, if I try to grab this and uh, like assume that it's like SP line with control points, it's not really. Okay, so this guy does not have control points. And if you try to grab a point and move it, the whole thing will move. Okay, this whole uh, blue curve, the light blue curve will move. So it's not really that amazing job that it does sometimes okay for this one it did a relatively good job for this one it's not bad although it has this kind of extra kinks here this extra parts and if you want you can repair it or you can redraw the whole thing so as long as the sketch is very simple okay as long as the sketch is very simple 
my recommendation is you do it yourself. This sketch tracer is not really the optimum thing, but um, if it's very complicated, uh, you might be tempted to say, well, I use this, it's going to save my time. And I show you another uh, sketch that is more complicated than this, and you'll see uh, the performance of that. Okay, but right now you clearly see here, I have this problem here, and I would rather simply get rid of that and then bring my SP line and do a nicer job like this. So go here, go here, and double click, and then uh, you can, of course, make that part sharper by uh, controlling this point right and then bringing another one and um, trying to basically blend them like that okay so that might be more useful or this part here as i said you can bring the um split tool and here you can break this guy right there okay so now this curve is broken you see at that point and then you can repeat that as well maybe right there so now it's also broken there right so you can get rid of this part and then you can use a spline to again uh, fix this curve so you can make something like this double click then bring another one and here you can also what double click and you can fix it right like that so um it's not the ultimate really sketch tracer auto sketch tracer now as i told you if i bring something that is a little bit more complicated right uh so here i want to bring the uh uh, Embry Riddle Eagle, which has more features. Okay, and let's make it bigger, like this. And um, I go forward and I improve the uh, contrast if I can. Let's see, it seems like, yeah, this is better. And here I grab this and I grab that color. And say begin trace now look what this one gives you did you see that how sketchy and how rough it is compared to the original eagle let me get rid of the eagle so you can see it look you see so yeah it kind of looks like that but it is missing a lot of the features okay so although it's automatic but do not expect a perfect job you might need to go in and do some cleanup for some general curves like this one or this one, it's not too bad. But when it comes to these smaller features and so on, even if you have a good contrast, it's not going to do it. Okay. Uh, so just wanted to introduce this uh, feature to you and hopefully it was useful to you. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next lecture.